Hi, Hiram here. Of course, now that I want to do a video outside, it's starting to get windy, but I'm hoping you'll still be able to hear me. Uh, a couple of days ago, I did a video showing what I thought was a score that I got on eBay. It was a Tatanka burner that someone had modified with Wa Hikers Trangia stove external fuel feed upgrade, or so I thought. If you watch the video, I think you could tell from the my voice <laughs> when I realized that the burner had been gutted and wrecked. The inside liner and wall had been removed. Here's a close-up picture of what a Tatanka, a normal Tatanka, would look like on the inside with its wall intact and on the other side of that wall is a liner to pull the alcohol up towards the jets and then this is a close-up picture of what this Tatanka looked like the wall missing and you can see the fuel port the new one that I had put in but it's all hollow inside there no liner or anything to pull alcohol up to the jet area so here's a video that I did with this gutted Tatanka and a normal Tatanka so you can see what the flames look like. The normal is on the left, the gutted one is on the right and I think you'll see that the flames barely come up through the, the burner. Okay, so what I want to do with this is I'm going to, I thought if this was wrecked with somebody trying to do one of Wa Hiker's ideas, that maybe I could fix it and make it usable again with another one of Wa Hiker's ideas. I'll leave a link down to his videos on this subject, but he did another video called the Trangia Stove Carbon Felt Upgrade, where he rolled up a uh, strip of carbon felt and stuck it down in through the center of the Trangia and it made for a better flame to work with the simmer ring so I thought I'd try something like that and what I did was I took a strip of carbon felt rolled it up and then rolled a piece of aluminum siding on the outside of that rolled it up tight so that it would fit in here now my idea with the the siding the aluminum siding is there's no sides on the inside of this thing to hold the carbon felt in place like there would be on a Trangia so I figured if I wrapped it in the aluminum, it would hold the, tr the carbon felt and it, might, it should create a seal on the inside of this edge so that the pressure can build up for the jets. Now, here's a video where I did my first video on this with just the aluminum siding and the carbon felt. You could see that the difference, the inner core of carbon felt really helped the flames. Now this was without a pot over the top, so the jets never did come to a bloom. So what I did was I tried this test again with a pot over it so that it would reflect the heat back down and hopefully light the jets. Here's that video. Near the end, it kind of looked like the jets were going to light, but I'm not sure that they did. So, what I figured I had to do then was I needed a liner in here. So I pulled this back out, and by the way, I'm going to have to make a new one, because this one's been pulled in and out so many times, 
it's no longer really tight in here but I cut another strip of carbon felt to stick down in here let's just get it in here like so put it around to the outer edge can you see that there so now this carbon felt will help pull the alcohol up so that it vaporizes closer to the jets and helps it come out then I put this part back in just like so and another thing you could do with this is this carbon felt could be pulled out and made larger to give you a larger flame but now here's the repair with a liner and a pot So I think from that video you can see that now this Tatanka does work. Uh, you can put the pot right on it as soon as you light it because this carbon felt will help heat the pot. Heat the pot, reflect back down and hit the jet area which vaporizes the alcohol that's in here. And then it only took like six minutes for these jets to light. You could see that the flame got wider. So. Now I got myself a Tatanka that seems to work. If anybody's interested, I'll do a boil test. But here I took a Tatanka that somebody wrecked using one of Wall Hiker's good ideas. Wrecked it, and I hopefully put it back together using another one of his ideas. If you haven't seen Wall Hiker videos, like I said, I'll leave links down below for these. You really got to check them out because he does some great stuff. But here I got my Tatanka back, so it is a deal. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.